Good morning, everybody. It's a tough act to follow, champagne and alcohol. Um, but I'm Brian Hunter, and this is my partner, Paul Schwab, and we are the co-founders of Nebula HQ. Um, Nebula HQ is an all-in-one platform that allows for a accounting firm to, or any firm in general to better manage their client relationships, specifically if they're offering multiple third-party software to them, and then if they're looking for a better communication tool for their client. We wanted to give you guys a little bit of background as to who we are, and kind of I think that adds a little context to why we developed Nebula HQ. So I myself <coughs> have a startup 937 payroll company here. We're actually in the Entrepreneur Center just next door. Uh, and I've been in the payroll industry, accounting industry here in Dayton for about 10 years, and I've had about 13 years of sales experience. I'm a second generation accountant. My father started an accounting firm in Moraine in 94, and I am a prior employee of the largest payroll provider in the country, ADP. And my name is Paul Schwab. Um, I'm a uh, passionate software engineer and also a security uh, enthusiast, I would say. That's one of my favorite things about software development is the security aspects of it. Uh, I've got about 15 years experience working in the financial software industry. I've built and secured uh, debit card, ATM systems, online banking, mobile banking apps, uh, and all sorts of financial data integration. So uh, that's what makes uh, me and Brian like the perfect fit for this kind of company because I've got the background with the technology and Brian has the background with the actual understanding of um, the financial business and um, operating basically an accounting firm. So. Nebula HQ was born out of some of the challenges that I was and am still currently having with 937 payroll. So our payroll company is kind of unique because we don't have any of our own proprietary software. We license primarily ADP's payroll software and then uh, if we have clients who need say HR and time and attendance solutions we're licensing uh, an HR software called Get Hired and then maybe a time and attendance solution called T-Sheets which is a QuickBooks product. So we have a client who wants all three of those products. What we're doing is we're white labeling each one of those, but we're having to direct them to three different websites so they can have that experience and get all of those solutions. So that just creates this disjointed client experience. They're going to three different sites. Yes, we have the link on our website, but it still just doesn't feel cohesive. And then also from a communication standpoint, we're having to communicate outside of those platforms, email, text, phone call, it's not living on that platform. Also, we're confined to the constraints of those software platforms, so you know, whatever they say we can have, we get to have. We don't get to dream up any new ideas and, and, and have any additional input necessarily on what those platforms offer us. And then lastly, from an API connection, data sharing between those platforms, yeah, two of those examples I gave you, ADP and T-Sheets, do talk to each other but get hired, our HR platform is not talking to the other one. So we're having to manually duplicate data from one platform to the other, and that's inefficient. So in order to fix this problem, I initially started off by going out and talking to software development companies, and they were giving me some pretty hefty price tags, you know, thirty dollars to $100,000 to get this platform built out. And uh, frankly, I just don't have that kind of money laying around. So I was concerned and not really sure how I was, I was going to be able to achieve the goal I wanted to have, which is to have my own you know, proprietary platform uh, without having to shell out that kind of money. So that's where uh, I came in. I actually um, ran into Brian at the Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, we both happened, <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, it's a pretty crazy story. We both happened to be there at the same day, um, and his son and my daughter go to the same preschool. I mean, they were like best friends in, in the preschool. So, they still of course, are. they were like magnets and they yeah. found each other. So, <laughs> Brian and I started um, basically walking around the zoo the whole day together. And we were started talking about his business and what I did and what he did and the problems he had. And uh, basically, I, was, I came to the complete, like, you know, I think I could help you. I don't know how it would work, but, you know, maybe I could help you out somehow. Um, we met a couple times at some bars and had some beers. and. We decided we were going to start this business as a partnership, and um, basically, um, what we've decided, we, what we started doing, is build this uh, wireframe um, to start with. It's one of the things that was actually on like a napkin at the bar originally, 
Um, but the idea here is, um, you know, we want to just make, we made this platform and there's little apps you can install. Just you've probably seen it, it's like an app store. And each little app installs little modules. So if you want to integrate with this company, well, we've got an app for that, that adds the integration there and so on. But um, this is the wireframe that we came up for the client portal aspect of the system. And Brian, if you'd like to yeah. explain a little so more on that. So as works. I was talking about some of the problems on the prior slide, you know, that disjointed client <coughs> experience and having multiple payroll um, softwares. Well, here we have individual icons where you would have like your ADP uh, payroll, your HR for get hired, your T-sheets time and attendance. So there's one single sign-on into Nebula HQ your headquarters for your business, and then you click on each one of those icons and it would open up a different tab and single sign you on to that software that you're using. Also, for like us as 937 to share news with our clients, we ran an app for that. But we had forms we wanted to share with them, we have an app for that. Uh, a doc vault for the clients, we would have a space to share <coughs> documents with them. Um, this example here, this My Money by Wave, is an example of um, a third party API, so pulling in data from another third party and then displaying that data in real time on our platform. So as we, you know, think, we're thinking about Nebula HQ, we're thinking about developing this and, you know, obviously Paul is not going to work for free. So, and I had to, I have to pay him something. There has to be some money in this. So we're like, well, if this works for 937 payroll, it should work for other people too, with this similar issue with other accounting firms. So as far as monetizing, our first goal is to sell this to other firms, specifically accounting firms, but it doesn't have to be an accounting firm, uh, on a wholesale basis. So uh, we have an accounting firm we're talking to right now in Dayton that has 3,000 clients and he's looking to potentially license this software. Uh, we would sell the software to him uh, either on a per client basis or on a kind of a, like a volume pricing. So like one to a thousand clients would be one price, two to three, three plus would be another price. Uh, second way of monetizing it through a marketplace. So as clients are using it, maybe they say, I don't have time and attendance through T-Sheets right now, but I want that. Well, they would be able to subscribe through T-Sheets through our platform and then we would get paid either by T-Sheets through a commission, they would, might give us 10% and then the client would pay them directly, or the client would pay us for that product on a, and we would pay a wholesale price to T-Sheets and then the difference would be our margin. So that's another way. And that could be kind of infinite you know, as far as what third-party softwares we use. And then the last way is direct to clients. So if instead of selling to the accounting firm with 3,000 clients, Maybe Barry staff wants to buy it for their business. We could sell it direct to them. The monthly fee would be higher, obviously, on a retail basis, direct to Barry staff, than if they were a client of an accounting firm. All right, so our current status, um, we, we think we're a month or so away from beta testing it at our first client, which happens to be 937 Payroll. Um, uh, we, like, like Brian said earlier, we do also have a, a large firm that's expressed interest and we're also in talks with, uh, with a, pay, a large payroll company that might be able to set up a partnership agreement with us in some fashion. We've been having three or four phone calls with them now. Uh, our competition right now is probably like other ERP systems. Um, Thompson's and Reuters has one, although one thing that I've noticed with them is none of them are really focusing like we are on bringing the disjoint um, experience together. It's more just focused on their own product and their own world, where what we're trying to do is, um, you know, you've got a company, like Brian said, you've got a company where you're sending people out to this website, this website, this website, and we need to, like, bring it in to unify it so they kind of feel like they're at one company instead of at five different companies. Um, production phases. So what I was talking about with going beta testing immediately here soon is phase one, which is client facing. And that's our goal to do the unifying client experience. After that, we're going to be adding in a CRM and tracking system so that the firm has better efficiency and can manage it. It'll all integrate into that portal and give them all um, basically just basically the goal is to make the firm's life a lot easier with communication and just working with their clients. The third phase is where we're going to just get crazy with API integration and we want to just have apps for everything to just, you know, let you grab data and move it into other systems. Like the big example Brian has where he has um, a payroll, or a, not a payroll, an HR system. Well, there's employee data. 
well, you want to get it over an ADP, to pay, you know, but what, 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 the, what is, uh, employees are having to do now is like just data entry everywhere, right? Well, what we're trying to do with this is pull data into one central sp spot and then get it out to all these other places so the data entry just has to happen once. Um, is that it? Oh, yeah. This is also our status. <laughs> are we, are we gonna yeah, try aside? if we have time. So yeah. we just wanted to kind of show you where we're at currently. It's not showing up. View idea that has our stop projecting. So what we're going to show you is the uh, current spot for Nebula HQ. So as you can see here, this is where either a firm or a client would sign on. The background is customized. We have the Oregon District listed there. So we're a Dayton-based payroll company. So I'm signing in as the accounting firm right now. So this is what the accounting firm would first see, which is basically a way for them to manage all their clients. So we have on the left-hand side here, their administration functions, and then up here, functions of this 937 payroll, which would be the accounting firm. Um, the firm can, again, control the appearance, control the apps that are listed on there. They can create custom icons if they want their icons to look different. Um, and then specifically right now, we just want to show you the client portal. So this is what a client would see when they log in. And this is really the experience that that firm is trying to curate for, for their clients. And kind of similar to the wireframe, you can see that we have individual boxes here. Each one of those are, is an app and totally customizable. We're sharing news with the clients. We have the icons on there for single sign-on. Uh, we have, uh, here is a ticket tracking system. So if a client has a tax notice and they want us to review it, they can just upload that to the system and it'll notify us. And just quickly show you an example. If I click on this right here for payroll, it opens another tab. Wi-Fi is a little slow. There you go. Okay. But the idea will be you'll go right into your dashboard at that company because we'll have single sign-on um, set up with these companies. That would be part of our onboarding process for a new firm is that we'll make sure that we have single sign-on integration with any uh, third parties that you're using. All right, so the ask, what we're asking for is beta testers and um, just basically anybody in the industry. If um, you're just a business owner and you have an accounting firm, we'd like to talk to you as well because we'd like to know if you'd like to try out, um, you know, as a client, as logging into the portal and would this be an experience you would like to have with your accounting firm. Uh, if you are an accounting firm or maybe like a small uh, independent insurance agent uh, you might want to talk to us and we want to get your input as far as you could be a firm with us and then this could be your uh, interface in with your clients as well. Uh, the other thing I will mention is it all is mobile first. So the website works just like an app. If you're on a, on a small screen, it does automatically resize and all that fancy stuff like you would expect with any uh, modern web development these days. Um, and pricing validation. We're also looking for people. Once again, if you're, you know, have one of these titles, if, uh, or if you know somebody who has these titles, um, please let us know, and we'd like to just kind of run numbers by them, just see if we um, can make the, the numbers work right. Yeah, and ultimately, you know, we, we know it solves a problem for 937 payroll, but, you know, are we uh, spinning our wheels here, or are other people actually going to buy this thing? So it's kind of where we're at at this point. Um, so we appreciate your time today. If you want to learn more about Nebula HQ, we are on Facebook, uh, Nebula HQ LLC, uh, and we do have a website which is currently under construction, nebulahq.com, uh, which will have more information shortly.
Thank you.